Okay, today we're going to show you uh, analog and digital phone lines. Right now we're going to show you the landline system, how we have it hooked up right now. We have it through analog, through the Verizon, through the telephone poles that you see in the street. That's an analog system right now. And it's, we have ours going underneath the ground, so that's better for a power outage. The trees can't knock it down. And it goes to this box right here, the cables they feed through it. Some houses have between two to eight phone jacks. We have but we have one in the upstairs room, we have one in the living room, I mean in the kitchen, one in my bedroom, one in the office, and one in the basement. So we have about six phone jacks right here. And we're gonna show you these landlines, but soon we're gonna drop this uh, service right here, this analog through Verizon, through this box. And we're gonna switch over to Comcast and we're gonna reverse the signal through a digital VoIP voice over internet phone service through the internet. We'll show you that when we go in the house now. The reason why we're gonna drop the service is because we're paying extra money for this service because we have the triple play right now. So for the past two years, we had the phone service hooked up with our internet and our TV service provider. But uh, they, we were gonna drop, they were gonna lose our phone number right here. And my dad uses it for business and all our friends and stuff. So we don't want to lose our phone number because they couldn't transfer it over. But now that we all use our cell phone, we don't use the landlines anymore. So we're gonna switch over. An interesting fact, back in the day before they had, everybody had their own phone line to their house. They had party lines where that means like four, they had limited phone numbers to the houses. So they had pay phones where you had to go to a pay phone. If you didn't have one at the house, you'd have a pager and it would tell you the number to call if you were on the road like you wouldn't have a cell phone you'd have to go to your landline at home or to like a restaurant or a payphone also party lines where four houses would ring at once so if like you had a business person and they get 20 30 calls a day and it, and it was for our house right now all our three neighbors they would their phone would ring 30 times also and then everybody would all answer it at the same time it'd be very inconvenient and also someone said that if you're trying to make an appointment for the doctors or something there's talk to anybody in general, all the neighbors could listen in and uh, eavesdrop on your conversation. So it wasn't good for phone service, wasn't good back then. Okay, we're gonna call the home system the analog phone service. And you can see it's gonna ring on the phone. Right here we have the wireless phone right here so I could go into the other room, I could walk around into the living room or into the kitchen or the bedroom upstairs. I could go to the basement with this phone. Okay, back in the days they had this kind of phone right here. It's, a, it's called a rotary phone. I don't know if you ever saw one of these in my age. I never knew how to use this until just the other day. I learned that by watching a YouTube video right now. Right here we'll disconnect this. They didn't have this until much later. You just disconnect the phone jack right here and plug it into the bottom. And you can see there's no uh, plug. This one, you have to plug it into the wall. This one, it works through a power outage. So if we lose power, you could uh, use this kind of phone. And watch this, I'll call the home phone now. And you can see this phone will ring. Hi, this is Alec. <laughs> this, and this is called a rotary phone. They had these back in the day. I'll show you how it works as I'm making a phone call right now. Okay, surprisingly, this phone service works. I thought I was going to have to buy an adapter because I heard back in the days they used a pulse tone dialing and now they use a tone dialing. So this wouldn't work through our system because it's a different sound system that goes through the phone provider. So I would have to get this where instead of plugging this uh, phone jack straight into the wall, I'd have to get this adapter and plug it this into the adapter and then the adapter through the wall kind of like our cable we no longer have analog service because after 2011 in february unfortunately they dropped our service and we all the tvs in the bot houses needed a cable a digital adapter box now we'll call we'll block it out you can see here i'm going to call my cell phone right now And you can see my cell phone's gonna ring my iPhone. And you can see the home phone. <laughs> Soon we're gonna be switching over our uh, analog service. Soon as the uh, Verizon disconnects it from that box that I showed you outside, he's gonna unplug the service from the power line. And you take it out of the wall because right now we're still receiving it from the power line from Verizon. We're gonna disconnect it through the analog system when he unplugs it from Verizon through the cable box. I mean the outside phone line. And this is our, our regular phone right here to continue the service through this uh, uh, VoIP voice over internet uh, phone right over here or digital phone. You plug it into here. It says uh, phone line one right here, telephone one. And then you just switch, you take another one of these uh, phone jacks and you plug it into phone line two. And then you're going to back feed it into the wall right here and we're reversing the signal right here. 
and that you'll get the service will come through this box now this comcast nighthawk modem router and wi-fi triple play will come will go through all the phones so it'll reverse the signal to all the landlines phones in the house to ring okay some disadvantages of using this uh, internet phone right here because right now if we lose power we could still answer the phone call right now if we have no power but right here this this is an internet box and it's plugged into the wall so this will not work and you won't be able to make phone calls that's why they have this uh, safety uh, record uh, warning notice so because you, you can't contact emergency if you need them so they have this a uh, battery department right here it's a backup battery slot we didn't pay for it because we all have cell phones if we lose power iPhones but it's right here for 50 to 60 dollars I think you can get uh, four to eight hours which is kind of ridiculous that's if we lose power for three days you're only going to be able to use it for eight hours so that's unnecessary some other advantages of this uh, phone right here this landline instead of a, a voice over internet phone a digital phone is if you need to contact emergency locations it has you they have a fixed location it's better for location tracking and also most people say it sounds clear because when you're walking around on this there's like dead zones in this why is it making a call okay right here we're just sitting here watching TV right now and here's what's gonna happen if we get a phone call on our Xfinity digital landline you can hear it ringing down there. Also, I'll get an alert on my phone right over here who's calling. And quickly on TV, it shows up that I'm calling right there on the TV. So I could see if I want to answer it or not. And I could go into the other room and answer it now because it's somebody important. But if it was a telemarketer, I would just stay remaining on the couch watching TV. Okay, right now, since we don't use it before, we didn't have a phone hooked up to this system. So right now, I'll unplug it because we don't use it right now. Since there's no phone, before we bought this phone a week ago or a few days ago, we weren't able to hear this uh, phone ring at all. None of the phones were ringing because we're on analog systems still. But when we, so right now I could have call forwarding, so I could have a transfer to our our uh, analog phone. Right now, you just go to the Xfinity Connect button right here. And you go to settings right now we have it on home that means it'll show up on all of our tvs right there xfinity connect mobile app i'll get it on my uh, lock screen right over there as it's coming the the call is coming in and also i could have a select call forwarding see so hit click this right now it's disabled we'll click the number right here the number where we want to take the number from that number we don't answer that phone number so we want to take it from that number and send it to our analog home phone number right there. Hit save and then hit save again. And then I have to turn it on. Right now it says enabled, but now I have to turn the service on and then it'll send it, the, the phone will f forward from the digital phone line from this phone all the way over to here. You can see right here, it's on now. So if I try to call this number right here, it's automatically gonna shoot over to our analog phone number when I try to call it now. Watch this. I get an alert. It doesn't go here anymore because now it shoots right over to our phone. And this is not even the number I called on this phone number, but we're getting it on this phone number. Okay. <laughs> okay, I could also use this like an extension because it's like I have my own phone number like here, like in an office right here. We have our analog system and our digital line system. Pretend I was in my room. I, I can't do this in my bedroom because we have our Wi-Fi router into the office right now, but if I get a call from my uh, parents downstairs, I could use it as an intercom and they could say, dinner is ready, come and get it. <laughs> okay, today we're going to show you the cell to jack right now. When we call the home phone, it'll ring because I have it plugged into the, the wall back there. But And all the phones will ring, you'll see right here. Right here it rings, it shows up on our TV and also in the other room if you can hear it. Okay, so before we were getting landline calls, I had this hooked up to behind the wall through the landline and nobody calls me on this number except for telemarketers and occasionally like once a year somebody that we know calls us if they don't have our cell number or they call us by accident. So usually I get like, uh, I get more calls on my iPhone more recently. So right now I'm going to use the cell to jack instead of using it from the landline calls when we call that number. If I someone calls me on my iPhone right here, it's going to ring. I'm, uh, as soon as I connect this, I'm going to plug the phone jack into this adapter, and it's going to have a Bluetooth pairing connection. Okay, we're going to disconnect the phone jack from the wall right there from the landline number. And now I'm going to switch it over to this. Instead of plugging into the wall, we're going to plug it into the cell to jack right here. See, it has a slot for the phone jack right over here. 
keep it remain plugged into this one right there. Instead of the short cord that it gives you, then you have to plug it into the wall, but then you don't get to see it's hanging back there. It's too short of a plug. So I got this other one that we had. It's like a charger, you plug it in here. And they don't give you this when you order it, so you have to make sure you have an extra one or you have to order another one. Plug it in there. The light's gonna come on, it's a solid blue. Flashing red, I think. First, for the first time, pick up your home phone off the hook and press those numbers right here from your home phone. Need to start pairing, let me turn my Bluetooth on right here. Okay, it's on, I don't know if it noticed it yet, so let me see if it looks. Right now I have no dial tone. Phone is not connected, it says, so I'm gonna do pound, star, pound. Pound, star, pound. You can see it's now flashing red now. The pairing it says. And now it should show up right here. I'm not sure what it's called. Oh, there it is. It just came up. Sell the jack right there. Press the button. Sometimes you have to do it a few times, it says. Oh no, I have a dial tone right now, so it must be connected. Let's see if it worked. You can see it automatically connects to the home phone. You can see iPhone speaker and right here it uses like Bluetooth for your car. And you can see it's right now linked to sell the jack and it's ringing on phone. So I can make phone calls from using my number but on this rotary phone right here. And check that out. That's pretty cool. Okay, now we're going to have a call coming in and it's going to show up on my iPhone and ring on the rotary phone. Ring on both of them. You can see it rings up on my iPhone. But now I could answer here. Hello? Okay, we're gonna show you his voice assist right now. Dial tone. I'm gonna turn it over to the star. Wait a second, it's connecting to my phone. Siri amps. Turn on Alex's bedroom lights. <laughs> Check that out, isn't that cool? Turn off Alex's bedroom lights. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Okay, I have my phone down here now, so I want to see if it, the signal still reaches from all the way down here. If I'm going to call downstairs, will my rotor phone in my bedroom still ring? Let's see if it rings. Oh, it still rings. That's pretty cool. Now I'm going to go to the backyard now. Call it and see if the rotary phone still rings. It didn't ring, so it doesn't, it's not in range, so it didn't ring the rotary.